you guys there is normal okra soup and there is seafood okra soup yo you guys are so in for a good time with this particular seafood okra see eh, no too much talk you're welcome just sit back relax and let's do this today okay So let us get started, okay? Now I went to a fresh seafood market, that's Makoko in Lagos, and I got myself all the seafood I could think of or all the ones I could find there. So I got this fresh barracuda fish and to eat I added some ground uziza seeds. You guys, you cannot miss it. Get your uziza seed and grind it in the house and put it in there. Add your yellow pepper, some onion, your seasoning and of course salt to taste bearing in mind that you do not want to over season this okay you just want it to taste very well because you don't want your fish to be bland okay you want it to taste really good but do not over season it because remember you're still gonna season your soup this is just the protein they are actually cooking right now okay and remember that this does not take time at all it's fish in five to ten minutes in fact less than ten minutes it is ready okay then i added all other seafoods i got i got my prawns this is not so giant this is like the king prawn i think yeah so you can get any size you want i got this size and then i got my shrimps i added a lot of shrimps to this i mean a lot <laughs> as you can see and then i stirred in everything together to cook these prawns and the shrimps they don't take time at all to cook in fact you can turn off your heat and cover this pot and it's still cook so that's what i did i stirred everything together so that i could absorb that um taste from the uziza seed and the seasonings and everything trust me once you can get your stock this particular fish stock to taste nice i promise you your soup will taste so good so please don't miss any step the uziza seed is a must your yellow pepper is a must okay now i had a taste and it was good <laughs> so step one is done let's head over to step two that is making our stew base you guys there are different methods to making okra and i think this is one of my fave methods okay so to my palm oil i added some iru onion and some crayfish yo your house will be smelling like heaven on earth right now your neighbors will be wondering ah, ah, what is going on in this person's house like this <laughs> the aroma is out of this world trust me now you want to put your pepper mix and i already have a video showing you how to make your pepper mixes at home so you want to check that video out right now okay <laughs> so go to my page and check um, my video on how to make your pepper mix all you have to do is make your pepper mix and add it now stir it stir it stir it don't be in a hurry <laughs> and i mean when you're done stirring this you just have to cover it and then before you cover don't forget to add the remnants of your yellow pepper it is also important to add your, your yellow pepper please make sure to check the video on how to make your pepper mix so that you know the the right ingredients and the um items to be in this pepper mix okay now of course you go right ahead to season this up real good with your bouillon cubes and your salt remember again you added salt when making your fish stock so you want to be very very careful with your salt and your seasoning if you notice i just use a little for this two base okay <laughs> and at once i tasted it covered it and allowed this to cook that too is done now if you're watching to this point and you're yet to subscribe haba you guys hit the subscribe button if you're yet to to officially join the uzum's kitchen family like our videos and share it to your people i mean help us grow remember to also leave us a comment let me know what you think we really really love to hear from you ask me your questions i mean we're always available to answer right so let's go on to the third step which is optional for you but i mean if you're following this recipe you can as well do this part trust me it is worth it and i noticed that when you do this it helps the okra to draw more i mean it helps it to really draw and it just makes it nice okay now all i did was add my okra to a pot added water and i put it on fire i know you might be asking uh -uh, 
when the okra be brown won't it turn black or something because okra really doesn't take time before it turns brown and i mean it just is a vegetable so it doesn't really take time but you guys don't worry all you have to do is turn on your heat put it on low heat and just keep staring it like this you guys don't be scared you know i cannot leave you astray now eh <laughs> so just keep staring it as so just keep staring it don't get tired you're doing this for about three to four minutes and the longer you do it, it keeps drawing but you don't need to do it for long now let's check on our stew this is totally done it tastes super super good this part is so important because if your stew base is not nice <clears throat> not to know your so your stew base has to be nice and your protein the stock from your protein has to be nice as well so what i did here was just to add a bit of crayfish and then my fish stock you guys this stock tasted so good i promise you it is a game changer yes so you want to follow it through add everything i added and so that you get a good result okay now of course you just want to stir this together to combine and marry the two flavors from the stew base and from the stock i had to taste it two times because omo he hit he was hitting the the right spot you know <laughs> and now we're back to our okra at this point i had already turned off my heat for the okra it's no longer on you can see how dry it is if you now use your food processor to process your okra you guys it will draw from here to heaven i'm telling you i didn't use my food processor all i used was my hand to chop it the drawing won't be as much as when you use your food processor to do it so if you wanted to draw from here to heaven just throw your okra into your food processor and let the food processor do its job and you'll be wild okay <laughs> now this is ready i just love this okra i couldn't stop looking at it because it was just so beautiful i love how transparent it is you can see through it and it was just nice i mean <laughs> now all i did was to pour the okra into the stew base and let there be a marriage ceremony oh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you want to stir this in so well i mean this might take a bit of time because okra is dry right so just take your time i mean you're in your kitchen enjoy it enjoy it just with your spouse bring your kids in teach them how to cook at this moment i mean just do something interesting <laughs> i mean make every moment count abby uh -huh. so just take your time stir this in thoroughly you guys just take your time and stir it in yes this took me about five minutes to you know stir it very well because you want the stew base to marry with the okra and everything okay so just take your time it is also important for me to tell you that immediately i added my okra to this stew base i turned off my heat totally so all this stirring process there was no heat you guys that's the mistake people make you don't cook okra for that long if not you'll be cooking bones of frame because you don't want your okra to be brown or change color once your vegetable changes color in your soup you have filled the exam more i'm telling you that's what my mom always tell me that your vegetable should still be green and vibrant okay so immediately i added my okra to the stew base i turned off my heat 100 percent so please note that all this cooking all these other things i'm doing my heat is off totally off the heat from the pot and the whole food will do the remaining cooking okay right so now we've gotten that aside all i now did was to stir in i added all the proteins inside here I added some periwinkles too hmm i can hear some people saying now wow which kind of small pot be this one with this woman they use cook now? Me, mm, yeah, I know, self. <laughs> I know. But, Omo, this is how my blessings is going to overflow and overflow and overflow. And your blessings too. This is my prayer for you. That the same way this food is overflowing in this pot. <laughs> Just like the Bible says, your blessing, the blessing will run over. That is how your own blessings, the blessings that will come to you, will overflow and to run over. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? <laughs> Just put your amen in the comment section so I'll know that you guys got that prayer. And it's from my heart for you guys. So we are almost at the end of this video. 
Ooh, it was fun really cooking this and I really enjoyed this meal. So all I did was add my uziza leaf and a little bit of ugo. That's your pumpkin leaf, okay? And I stirred it in. Trust me guys, this soup was amazing. Please try it and let me know in the comment section how much you loved it. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Remember to leave us a sweet comment. Blow me kisses. Tell me something sweet and nice now. You know now. Why me small? <laughs> and above all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Help us to grow. Remember to share. And ooh, until next time, I love you guys. But Jesus loves you most, okay? But before we see the final bye-bye, you guys take a look at this deliciousness now haba haba it was so good <laughs> all right guys bye